After you install a photovoltaic array, the utility is going to reconfigure your smart meter from unidirectional to bidirectional operation so that you can buy at one rate and sell at another. There are five screens, if you will, that the meter cycles through, and they can't display all the information on this tiny display all at once, so you've got to wait for it to cycle. The first screen is NET. It's talking to the network. RES, I suspect, means residential, but I don't know. It doesn't really matter. The next screen is a segment check. You can ignore this uh, as long as all the segments are working. If they're not working, you want to let the utility know so they can replace it. And the third screen is uh, of interest. This is 26 kilowatt hours consumed since the meter was reset or reconfigured. This is mode 4 for DTE. Could be different for your utility. Note the square block in the left arrow under mode 4. The square block is, is a neutral thing. If you have no left arrow or right arrow, then the the load is being satisfied without either taking from the grid or contributing to the grid. But we have a left arrow here, which means we're currently contributing something to the grid. So 26 hours or kilowatt hours consumed since meter reset. The next screen is mode 8. 15 kilowatt hours contributed to the grid since the last reset, which was just a few days ago. The last screen is what is currently being done. Notice the left arrow contributing to the grid. So we have a negative number here. Negative is good. That means that we are currently contributing a small amount to the grid. It's only 80 watts or 0 0.08 kilowatts. But what that means is that the photovoltaic array is satisfying the loads in the house currently. And there is an excess of only 80 watts. Yeah, it's not much, but it's not zero either. Why is it so small? Because it's really cloudy today. Cloud cover will reduce the power available, of course, but it isn't zero either. This dispels the myth that on a cloudy day, you get nothing from your photovoltaic array. That's not true. You get something, but it may not be very much. But still, it's satisfying the, the few loads that the house is uh, demanding at the moment and putting a small excess into the grid. So that's all there is to it. Quick review. The first screen is uh, network communication is OK. Segments all are functioning. And mode 4 gives us 26 kilowatt hours consumed from the grid. Mode 8, 15 kilowatt hours contributed to the grid. And currently we're contributing only 80 watts to the grid. This is fun to watch. You may uh, want to watch it frequently in order to get a feel for how much power you're getting each day. I don't know. Kind of nerdy, but it's fun. Thanks for watching. Bye.